The coronavirus pandemic put the spotlight on pervasive race-based inequalities within our nation's health care system. Yeah, not only are minorities in America less likely to have health insurance compared to white Americans, but they're also more likely to face bias and negligence from a medical provider. But now advocacy groups and medical professionals nationwide are actively working to try to change that system. Joining us now is urgent care medical director and family medicine physician, Dr. Bio Curry Winchell. Doctor, thanks so much for joining us. So let's Let's start with these racial disparities, these inequalities. How do they show up in our healthcare system? Give us some examples. So they show up everywhere, whether it's your, you know, going to the doctor to get information about your health, what type of treatment you get. All of these things really play a role in inequities and racial biases that can affect you and your family in so many different ways. Uh, Dr. Curry Winchell, could you talk to us about what lawmakers, medical providers, or even communities ourselves, what can we do to dis address these disparities? And also, what kinds of measures have already been put in place that, that you find effective? You know, and it's this is something that is so complicated, but when you break it down and you think about advocacy, what can you do as a patient each time you seek out care? And that's about educating yourself and really finding ways to inform your healthcare provider that you wanna know, what are your thoughts on race-based practices? How are you helping to reduce inequities and disparities? So I really encourage people to think about that and ask these questions every time you seek care because that's something you can do to really make a change. Yeah, so let's dig in on that a little bit more because I imagine it can be kind of scary for someone to essentially, you know, question a doctor, question a medical professional who's in this position of authority. What would you tell someone specifically to do if they suspect that their healthcare provider might be treating them unfairly or not providing equal quality care? I start with asking and telling them how you are feeling. I think there is power in sharing if you feel that a bias or you know that you are being dismissed, it can be so powerful because maybe your healthcare provider may not know that that's what you're thinking. The other thing is, if you receive information that continues to you know make you as um, feeling dismissed, find a new healthcare provider because you have the right mm -hmm. to be able to advocate for the best care. And I often share, you know, even as a black female physician. This has happened to me. And so I've had a personal experience with really dismissal and, and not really taking in what I'm saying. So I, I, I really encourage people to ask those questions because in the end, your health is your most prized possession and you have the right to get the best care possible. Dr. Bio Curry Winchell, thank you so much for your time. Really important topic. And I think some of the things you mentioned, too, in addition to us putting this on ourselves, Advocating, it's yeah. about collecting data. It's about, mm -hmm. you know, the government getting involved and medical providers themselves recognizing their biases when they are in those exam rooms. Absolutely. And I think it's super helpful to hear from you a doctor say, hey, ask. Yeah. And you it's even I mean? hard for you to do. Yeah. So. Absolutely. All right. Doctor, thank you so much. Great to see you. Well, a Texas lawsuit.